G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a really fast, uh, cool little way of working out uh, the total interior angles of any polygon. So I'm going to say that in normal plain English now. I'm talking about what the total of these angles inside this particular shape, this is a hexagon, but any many-sided shape, how you could work that out. So this could be a six-sided shape like this hexagon here, or it could be an eight-sided shape, or it could be a ten-sided shape, or a hundred-sided shape. And how you can work out what the total of the angles of the shape is. Okay, and then from that you can actually, if it's a, if they're equal angles, work out how big each angle is as well. So it's fairly, uh, it's a fairly good little trick for doing that also. So I'll launch straight into how I'd work on this hexagon here. So the way that this works, what we're going to be having a look at with this is we're going to be basically working with this idea, which is. First off, we're going to have a look at triangles here. Now, you may or may not know this with triangles. First off, a triangle has three angles, one, two, three, and that these angles add up to 180 degrees. So they this angle plus this angle and this angle, 180 degrees. Doesn't matter on the triangle, the angles always add up to 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to break our hexagon here up into triangles. So I'm going to start from one of the... Uh, corners here, one of, the, uh, one of these points, and we're going to start making triangles. Okay, so I have one triangle, I have two triangles, I have three triangles, and I have a fourth triangle. I have one, two, three, four triangles. And so now it's pretty simple what we do. Each of these triangles is 180 degrees, so four times 180 degrees, and we will have our answer. Okay, so four times 180, this is 720 degrees. So the total of these angles within this hexagon is 720 degrees. Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? Um, what about I will go to a different shape? What about we have a look at an octagon, which you probably all know already. has how many sides? That's right, it's eight sides. So I would get you to draw out an octagon. Oh man, that's a bit... Bit ordinary that bottom. I'll draw that again. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I'd get you to draw it out, and I'd get you to try and do this as well. So I'm going to break this this up into as many triangles as I can. So we have one triangle here, two triangles, three triangles, four triangles, five triangles, and six triangles. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. Okay, so 6 times 180 will give us the total of all of these angles. Okay, so 6 times 180 is 1080 degrees. So that's a pretty cool little trick, right? And you might say, well, does it work for um, different types of shapes? You might, well, you might not have thought that, okay? But I'm going to ask that question for you and answer it for you. Um, so say we had a pentagon a pentagon, and I wasn't drawing it particularly nicely. I was drawing it so it looked a bit like this. Okay. Okay, uh, you can see it's a one, two, three, four, five-sided shape. Okay, maybe I'll uh, just change these a bit to accentuate that a little bit more. Okay, so you'll see here we've got a five-sided shape. Now, it also works for a pentagon that looks like this. Okay, so because all I need to do is break it up into the triangles. Okay, so I have one triangle here, I have two triangles, and I have three triangles. We have one, two, three. Okay, so three times 180 degrees, this is equal to 540 degrees. Okay, so this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle add up to 540 degrees. So it's a, it's a really, really great little trick for that. And you might even, if you're uh, very, very good with um, algebra or anything like this, or formulas, be able to almost put together a formula for this. I'll give it to you if you uh, want to know, by the way. So pretty much the formula for this, and if you don't like formulas, just bear with this because I'm going to show you one thing after this. The formula for this, the total of the angles is equal to the number of the sides take away 2, times 180. So the number of triangles that we get is always two less than the number of sides. Okay, so if it's an eight-sided shape, the number of triangles we're going to get is six. And if it's a ten-sided shape, the number of triangles we're going to get from that is going to be eight, 
and we just times that by 180. So that's a little formula you can use for this. Um, now I'm just going to show you just one last little application for this. Well, there's other ones too, but you know, um, just just one for now. And it's this. So say we had a. I'll go back to my hexagon. Okay. So say we have my hexagon and because I've hand drawn it, it's not going to be perfect, but pretend it was perfect and pretend what we had is all these angles were the same. Okay, so it was one of these lovely sorts of hexagons like that. Now, if that was the case, we could also then work out the size of these angles really, really simply because, well, we have six sides and you might remember you could work that out and we could break that up into four triangles and four times 180 is 720 degrees. Okay. But then what we could do is we could say, okay, so how big is each angle? Well, we just need to divide that by the number of angles there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So 720 divided by six. And you'll see that each angle is 120 degrees. So that's where you can just take that a little bit further if you need to know those particular angles there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a really, really great little trick. So, uh, you know, use it, okay? Anyway, any comments, any suggestions, any uh, criticisms, hey, let us know. Okay, see you later. Bye.